welcome to week four of Rönisch Golf School. We're going to talk a lot about the bunker today, uh, but before we start, I want to show you how to get your ball up on the green from this daunting position. So for most people, it's very frightening to have a bunker between you and your target. But if you learn the shot, it's not that difficult, actually. OK, so first of all, choose a club with a lot of angle. So I've chosen my sand wedge, 56 degree, because I, I want to hit a high shot, right? And then all you need to do is to actually do the chip, chipping technique again that I showed you in week two. So grip down and you're not going to use any of your wrists. You're just going to use your shoulders, but you're going to use also more of your hips. So this rotation will help you create some power to help the ball over the bunker. So grip down, ball you can have in between your feet or maybe a little bit to your left foot. And now just move back and forward, accelerate. So try this a few times in order to get comfortable. Just by doing that, it will not be as frightening when you get onto the course and if you get into this position there. So just very simple, grip down and just move your shoulders and hips. Most of all, you don't have to use your wrists. Good luck. So now it's time to focus on getting your ball out of the bunker. To most people, this is quite hard shot, but it's usually because you don't practice it so much. So my first tip is that when you are on the driving range, save five golf balls and move to the bunker and just hit them out of the bunker. In that way, you will always, uh, you know, practice this shot a little bit extra. When you do this shot, I have three tips. First of all, have your golf ball to its your left foot. Open your club face a little bit because you want to hit a high shot, right? And then aim towards getting your sand on the green. So you can focus on about two centimeters behind the ball and just accelerate through your shot so that the sand will get up on the green. So I don't actually complicate this shot. I just use my normal swing. And this is the way how to get out of the bunker. So three tips, ball towards your left foot, open your club face and then accelerate in order to get the sand up on the green. So now I'm going to show you five great exercises to strengthen your core muscles. That is the muscles that you have around your belt in front here and in the back. So start by doing this elbow towards knee, the opposite knee. And this exercise looks simple, but it's very good for your core muscles and also for your coordination to work a little bit on your brain. So do 10 repetitions per leg like this and then move to the floor. Straight arms, straight body, belly button towards your back so that you have a stabilized core and then move leg towards opposite elbow again, like this. Work with 25 repetitions and then move around to the back. Move elbow towards opposite knee, like this. Keep your lower back on the ground all the time, head up and do 25 repetitions. This will work on your lower abdominals. And now we're going to do some hip extensions, which will work on your lower back and your buttocks. So lay down, feet towards your buttocks, arms are along the side, and now move up as much as you can. Keep there for five seconds and move down. Go up and down for 10 repetitions. If that's too easy, you can straighten out one leg and go back, down, straighten out the other leg. That will also work on your, to stabilize your hips. And then 
finally, we're, we're going to do some rotation exercises, but from the plank. So move to the plank with the straight arms and do a rotation up like this to one side and to the other side. Work 10 repetitions per side. And if this is too easy for you, you can do a push down, rotate, go back and push up other side and work on that for 10 repetitions per side.